today we are freeze drying apples. So I've already kind of started here, um, but I wanted to kind of show you how easy it is. So I just came into a bunch of these small apples. They're really yummy. Um, could we eat them all? Probably. But one of the snacks that we really enjoy are freeze, is freeze dried fruit. Apples, berries, anything like that. And uh, sometimes we'll get fruit off season, um, like these apples here. Um, they've probably been sitting in a barrel somewhere. And so they just need to be eaten. And if we want to preserve some of the nutrients, then we want to get them freeze dried. Um, so we got a bag of these, well, we've got a couple bags of fruit and I just knew we weren't going to be able to get through all of it because we already have quite a bit of fruit um, already in our fridge that we're eating through. So I thought, well, this would be a fun treat. So I'm just going to go ahead and freeze dry these up. So you can kind of see the process. I just went through real fast, but I take an apple and I use my peeler and I just peel around and around, much like when I do applesauce. Now I do have an apple peeler and core that I could use and that might speed this process up a little bit. But for these particular apples, because they are so small, I was a little bit worried if I used my peeler and core that I wouldn't have a whole lot left for my apples. And I want enough that it makes it worth uh, the work that goes into it. So I just peeled it. Now I cut it in quarters. And then I, the core is here in the middle. So I just kind of go at an angle and pull the core out with my uh, knife here. And then I, this over here is what we call our chicken bucket. It's the scraps from our meals or things like this from freeze drying. Um, and then we feed them to our chickens. So they're, they're all cored in these quarters and now I'm just gonna slice them in four to five little pieces. And then I just put them in the freeze dryer. I try not to um, overlap them. You don't want too much overlap or they won't freeze dry or it'll take a really long time to freeze dry. So again, just core or peeling the apple just in a circle. And you could probably, if you wanted to, freeze dry the peels even and save them for other um, meals if you wanted or desserts or depending on what you like to make but it's just a nice treat for our chickens this time around. I'm really excited this summer. We uh, put in a small orchard, and by small I mean about six plants, six trees, three of which are apple trees. Um, so we're hoping that we have, this is our, it be the third year the trees are on the property and they should start fruiting this year. So we are very excited about that. Um, kind of learning how to do that process. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and keep peeling these. And once I have them all on my trays, um, I'll show you how we get them put in the freeze dryer. Our apples are all sliced up, ready to go. Let's put them in the freeze dryer. Our apples are done. See here, the process is complete. So now we're gonna open our drain valve. So it's down here. You open it and you can hear it. The water will drain into this bucket when all is said and done. But as soon as that stops filtering out, then we're able to open. 
And look at those apples. They look great. So we're going to take them over here. Look at those. They're nice and crunchy. If you want, you can kind of smush them so they kind of powder up. That's what we're looking for. We want them to be kind of a crunchy. And these look really great. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in my little bags here. I have some small sizes that are great for snacks. I don't use a lot of these because we eat them so fast that I actually can put them in a bigger bag like this and we eat them really, really quickly. Um, but sometimes these are good, especially if we're traveling, like if my kids are going somewhere or my husband is going on a trip, um, he can easily just take his little bag of apples um, and, and have a nice healthy snack. So we're going to load them up in our bags and then we will put our heat on them. up in the little bags here and I'm going to add oxygen absorbers to each one take this one and put in the smaller bag here a little bit on them so you don't necessarily have to zip them I kind of like to zip them just to get the oxygen the extra oxygen out and then I put them in my impulse sealer here and I like to seal it twice I'll seal it here's the little pull tab and I'll seal it twice above that tab and that's just me like that's not a requirement um, in fact, if you seal it too many times, sometimes they'll, um, like it can get a hole in the foil, in the mylar bag, so you want to be careful that you don't put too much heat on it. But I seal it right at the end, and then just below that. And that's just a more of a precaution. It is, like I said, it is not a requirement. So, you know, you can seal them how you want. And these ones, these bags are not quite as thick as I would like. They work fine. Um, but I'm going to get a little bit thicker the next time. These ones said that they were the, a 10. I think they're more like an 8. And like I said, they work fine. They feel good. Um, but I want them a little bit thicker. So, there are our apples. All sealed up. Okay. Now, um, something that I was thinking that I might do today, just as part of this process here, let me move these guys out of the way, is a question that I always had when I first got the freeze dryer is what do you do or how do you reconstitute these? If I don't want to eat these as a snack, how do I reconstitute them? And that question is actually really easy. You just add water and you can add hot water or cold water. Um, I typically will do kind of a warm water depending on um, what I'm heating. So this is just a, my husband's little tea kettle. I just filled it with water just so it's kind of to the rim of the apples. And this is probably more water than these little apples are going to need. But I just filled it with water, a little bit of warm water. And I can just let this sit for several minutes, maybe four or five minutes, if that. These are actually reconstituting pretty quickly um, till they're fully reconstituted. So when they are dry, they snap, okay? And they're really tasty. When they start to reconstitute, like this one here, 
it doesn't snap anymore. Okay, it's just like an apple would have come out of the freezer. It's no, it's it's like a frozen apple. Okay, so whatever you freeze dry, when you reconstitute it, it'll just it'll be just like if you pulled it out of the freezer and let it thaw. It. So that's how apples are. They're they're soft and malleable. So freeze-dried apples reconstituted are going to be soft and malleable as well. So see, I can actually smush this, this apple. So I could make applesauce with it, if you will. I don't know that you would make applesauce with frozen apples, but that's probably <laughs> a possibility. But like this one right here, ooh, there's a hair in it, sorry. This one right here, like just see how floppy that is? But this would be great for using in pie, right? If you were making a pie, you wanted to add your sugar and your cinnamon, and um, you could use it as a, in a pie or other baked good. You could slice them up, or if you already have them in chunks like this, and put them in scones or pancakes or whatever else you might um, use a freeze-dried apple for. Now, you don't always have to reconstitute. So I made some blueberry scones, I've made some apple pancakes. I've made all sorts of things. And you actually can just put a handful of those right into your batter. And they'll reconstitute as they're cooking with the heat. Um, sometimes you might have to add a little bit more moisture, like to your pancake batter. You might want to add just a little bit more milk um, because they will suck up some of the moisture. But that's, that's how you reconstitute them, if that's what you want to do. But like I said, they are just delicious just the way they are as a snack. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And we'll see you next time.